What's going on, everybody? 7177 here with the Arc Dev Kit. I want to do kind of a quick tutorial series here and there on how to uh, create some items in Arc, really. Uh, I have a mod that I've made. It's a complete uh, taming overhaul that uh, adds new arrows, new darts, a new rifle, um, healing items, hunger items, uh, stronger narcotics, stimulants, a new forge, spoiling bin, workbench, New weapons, I have a new long, long neck rifle that has a scope that you can use trink darts with, and it uses all the darts in the game that I made too, and also you can use them on the basic ones and all that. So um, the dev kit is very confusing and it can be difficult. This, is, uh, this video will be for the new people, but maybe you've played around a little bit and you've kind of seen some things or you've seen some like super old videos and stuff like that. It's changed a little bit um, on things. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing you wanna do is you always wanna go to your mods folder. And then you want to create a new weapon. So I just uh, created a new folder. I'm sorry. Uh, so I went to mods and then I created a new folder down here just called YouTube. Um, the reason you want to do that is because you never want to edit base game files. If you edit base game files and you don't make copies or different versions of it, um, it's not clean and stackable. Basically, when somebody uninstalls that file, it can permanently mess with the core game files and that game will become corrupt. So you never want that. You always want... Um, a, a a a new version of it so if you remove it, it it just removes your mod stuff from the game it doesn't remove core game files never ever ever edit core game files unless you absolutely know what you're doing all right that being said let's get started okay so the first thing we're going to do here is you create your folder we are going to go up to generic mod here and we're just going to take these items all three of these and we're going to drag them to this folder and we're going to hit copy never move always copy Sometimes this will hang up, and if it does, I might either speed it up or just cut these parts out. All right. Next thing you want to do is you always, always, always need to rename files. And I have my own way of kind of how I like to rename files, which we can see up here. So if we go to like my Tranks, Primal Game Data, BP, you know, Primal Test Mode. So whatever you want to name it as, but I have my own way. So... Um, we'll go ahead and rename this one to uh, Wolf YouTube. Once again, if any of these go a long time, I will uh, uh, just edit it. Okay, next. Now, I don't, this primal game data underscore BP underscore, you don't want to get rid of that. So we're just going to rename this Wolf YouTube. And then test game mode, you don't always need this, but I just just have it. Wolf YouTube. Or your level. So it'll all make sense here soon. All right, so we got all three of those done and renamed, and we've started our mod now, basically. So you want to go to over here in the very beginning. This will load up. You go to World Settings. And over here into Primal Game Data, we're going to select our Primal Game Data BP Wolf YouTube. And then we're going to click this arrow. All right, there we go. If In the very beginning, if you click on this hierarchy, it will compile for probably 10 minutes or so. It can be painful. And I, I have a very good computer. So mind you, computer specs goes into this. All right, so now that we got that done, we, have, we are on Primal Game Data, BP Wolf YouTube. You do that because now it's telling you, when, especially when you save or you upload your mod, you're not changing the base Primal Game Data. You're changing your Primal Game Data. So you're just like that little piece of the puddle that gets puzzle that gets put into Arc. So we're going to go ahead and open our Primal Game Data BP. Okay, so a lot of these here, you want to be very careful about what you edit. Um, we're going to go ahead and just edit this right here, and we're going to change this. We're going to ch uh, this uh, thing here, the I show only modified properties. And we're going to change this test game mode generic mod to our test game mode Wolf YouTube. Always avoid clicking on these drop down boxes if you can, because depending on how much you use them. Yeah. So if this doesn't have an X, you might need to recompile. If it has an X, you might need to recompile if it doesn't have a check mark. But that one's good. Sorry, right, we're going to go ahead and save that. We'll leave the level as it is right now. We don't need to open it. Okay, everybody, that wraps up basically the 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 basic portion of how to get this started. Um, I'm going to keep these videos short and organized so people can kind of see if they're looking for one specific thing. In the next video, we're going to create a brand new dart that we can use. Um, on the base game weapon without editing the base game weapons basically so see you next time